Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday, Bank of Canada Day, 3rd of June. We got European PMIs today. We have ADP out in the U.S., which is fun to watch, but useless. And uh, you have ISM services out in the U.S. So some interest on the releases today. Last night... Uh, in China, the CAC's in uh, PMI really beat 55. That was a services PMI out of China. Um, pushed up Aussie and kept us on a risk on tone. Let's look forward now and see uh, see what we got on the table here. Um, let's go to Euro dollar first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven green days. Not often uh, can you see that um, in the history of Euro dollar. Seven straight green days. Um, so we're getting a bit skeptical just from uh, sort of a technical uh, chart perspective. We're definitely not bearish uh, Euro dollar. We just, we're reflecting this in our theme book with short dollar Swiss which is not doing much because euro Swiss is higher um, so we kind of picked the wrong horse on that one although that said we've been short dollar Swiss for I don't know I guess a month and a half now so we didn't have as much chop um, and we did talk about it to ourselves at the time saying you know, short dollar Norway was was the first horse, and short dollar Swiss was just a pussy way to trade euro dollar because it's less volatile. Um, anyway, should see resistance today at one twelve thirty five. Um, all eyes on the ECB tomorrow. Uh, don't expect any kind of wild day today with this PMI stuff. So. Uh, we're just kind of waiting. We're on wait and see. No trade here in Euro. We're just watching. But boy, it's bid and it's getting a bit extended. Cable, uh, it's a different kind of animal. Same kind of chart. 126.40 is very important. Uh, are we going to get up through that? Why not? Uh, no real view here getting towards the top of this range maybe the first time we touch it is a sell uh, but no strong no strong view there dollar Swiss like I said is just in the middle of nowhere why is that with the dollar getting hurt against the euro because euro Swiss is at 107.68 um, getting very excited to sell this <coughs> we're gonna sell 108 between 108 and 108.50 um, we're gonna get short euro Swiss Aussie uh, looks like capitulation last night. Sort of an obscene uh, one percent move. Here's the hourlies um, through the figure. Prince twenty. That's probably going to be enough for the day, and then the Caxon release comes out. We go from twenty to eighty four, one percent. Now we're back to 36. Uh, is this going to close back at 69, 90, 68.97? Uh, we think it probably will, but no dog in this fight. Uh, just astounded uh, by by the Aussie move. Euro Aussie, same ridiculousness. Um, did we get quite below these important lows? No. Um, has this come 700 points uh, in the last three days? Yes. What can you say? Wow. I guess you can say, how did I miss that? But I don't know. We did. Aussie N, same chart. I mean, this is the 2020 highs. This is a risk on metric. So this is basically the equivalent of equities at the all time highs 7650. Um, or a sneeze away from there. Amazing. Maybe if you sneeze enough, this chart will get COVID or something and, and turn around. But here's your V. We talked about Vs yesterday. There's Vs everywhere. Um, 
probably some sort of crop signal for the fresh for the flesh eaters to come back. Uh, who knows? Cad yen. I mean, <laughs> we were long this, right? But that one comment kind of skunked us out. There is um, resistance. It's 100 points away, so it's not really useful uh, today. Let's go to the useful charts. Uh, we find this chart useful, EuroCAD. We got the BOC today. We got Euro, which may or may not turn around. Um, but this is an interesting chart. doesn't make any sense, as we keep saying, but it's an interesting chart. Astounded that we traded 50, 54 yesterday. Um, didn't get through 50. I suggest you just leave a 49 stop and w one day this will go might be today today or tomorrow um, is the are the obvious days because you have central banks either Canada and Euro um, ideally it goes today on a hawkish BOC and then it confirms tomorrow with a dovish ECB and then all of a sudden you have Eurocad at 146 but that's uh, sort of dreamy, uh, happy days, Fonzarelli talk. But Richie Cunningham aside, uh, 150.50. It's an important point. Gold, it's like an abusive relationship with all traders. Looks really bid, then comes back. Looks really offered, then comes back. We're just waiting, 1776. Um, speaking of abusive Bitcoin, how you like them apples? What the fuck was that? Ten six, now nine five. Don't understand it. Don't really know. Continue to try and buy low ones. Uh, add to your stock. This is an investment. This is not really a trade. Um, here's your V. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I suggest buying low ones. Uh, 85, 75. Treat it like a stock investment. Treat it like a Google stock. So everyone owns a bit of Google stock. Everyone should own a bit of Bitcoin. Um, momentum trading it? I don't think so. Investing in it, that's probably the better way. Crude, idiotic. Um, coming up to that uh, sort of sweet Caroline moment, uh, 40 bucks. Cue the music. Um, this is a sell at 40, so you kind of want to probably layer into it. Not like I'm any good at trading crude, but. 40 is a sell as far as we're concerned, but that's um, two bucks 40 away. So, at, oh yeah, dollar yen. Uh, dollar yen's buy on dip. Finally broke 108 yesterday. Um, low 42 today. You want to try and sort of lean into the longs here, sometime somewhere between, say, 40 and the figure. Um, nice break yesterday and we like this to continue uh, especially as we're we're risk on oh yeah let's speaking of risk on let's talk equities this is more of a a drunken V at least this right hand edge isn't as steep as the other V's but a little crazy um, Anyway, we're heading into uh, this 3100, 3130 area. Our boys in Chicago think this is the this is the sell. This is the John Lennon sell moment. Um, I don't know. We're, it has to turn at some point. I don't think this can go straight to the all-time highs. Um, in a straight line, all green, every day for the rest of our lives. So let's keep an eye on that. 
if you are going to sell this, wait for the stretch. Uh, one standard deviation today is going to be um, top of my head uh, 31, 33. Uh, so that kind of dovetails with uh, Chicago Boys sell area. Have a look at that. Let's see what the story is. Uh, let's see what's going on. Anyway, not a whole lot to do this morning. As you can see, we're watching this EuroCAD chart. Uh, of course, the BOC is not till later, later this afternoon. We will watch these Euro PMIs. I'm not sure what they're going to do. All in all, it looks like it's going to be a quiet morning for us. We'll try and collect some dollar yen on the bid. Uh, and we'll watch this Euro CAD to see what happens. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.